is an extraordinary person. They're all staring, won't they? Olivia Coleman's phenomenal year continues. Playing Queen Anne in The Favourite has brought her every major film award. Now there's another gong, a CBE for services to drama. The actress who will play the current Queen on TV in the next series of The Crown says she's totally thrilled, delighted and humbled to be on the Queen's birthday honours list. Someone else getting royal approval is Bear Grylls, the TV adventurer and chief ambassador of the World Scout Movement, who sent a message saying his OBE for services to young people, the media and charity should be shared. We now have over half a million scouts and volunteers in this country who give up so much of their time and energy uh, to help young people. And this award is for you guys. So if you're a scout volunteer, uh, congratulations. We share this one together. Amongst the music stars recognised today was Elvis Costello getting an OBE. Andrew Roachford, another singer-songwriter who has been performing for decades, was also recognised with an MBE for services to music. In a video call ahead of his concert in Berlin tonight, he said it had come as a big surprise. I've been working really hard over the last couple of years and every now and again, you don't do it for the acknowledgement, but something like that really does uh, help, you know, and, uh, so it's good, it's perfect. Of course, it's not just those on stage who were recognised today. Nimco Ali has toured the world campaigning against female genital mutilation, a procedure she was subjected to as a child. Getting an OBE, she says, is proof her work is having an impact. The fact that a former child refugee who's a black Muslim woman can be awarded by the government, by the UK government and by the Queen is actually just in incredible and shows how far we've come and the things that we have to celebrate. From Afghanistan veteran Andy Reid, who lost three limbs to a landmine and receives an MBE for voluntary service, to Boyd Tunnock, the man who invented the iconic Tunnock's tea cake 60 years ago and gets a knighthood, it is an eclectic list of recipients making lives better in very different ways. Nina Nanar, News at 10.